This is the Ford Lightning tank. The reason why we have this cutaway is for you to see the installation. This is quite a bit different than the prior module that we manufactured. So if you don't watch this, you're going to have an extreme bit of trouble installing it. It is mandatory you look and pay attention to this film. One of the things we found out of five tanks, we found out the three of them that we were measuring were out of tolerance. What you want to have in perpendicular measurements to this flange top you want 11.2 inches on the front, 11.6 inches in the rear, and 11.4 inches on the sides. It's very important that you have these tolerances. If not, you won't be able to make this installation, so you have to get another tank. When you remove the factory module, I want you to recover two items. Number one is this gasket. It has to be reused for this flange. And number two is the level sending unit. Disconnect it and then reconnect it to this rod in this manner. When you get your triple pump module, you're going to find this, insulate, this assembly here, leave it like that, and you're also going to have this other pump already rigged up with a cartridge on top of it. Ideally, we're going to slide each of these into the tank, and we're going to want it oriented so that this is going to slide in this pump retainer right here. And it's very important that you orient this face here so it's parallel with this, so when you slide it up in place, it locks in, and then you can tighten this. Okay, to install this in the tank, first off, drop in one of the pumps, and then drop in the assembly. First off, make sure you get the three filters being tucked down, and then just wiggle it back and forth a little bit, and you can find out it slides in. And at this point, we're going to be pulling up the other pump, and it should align just like so. And once again, I'm trying to keep the alignment on this face here, make this parallel. I can put my thumbs on top here, and I can grab a hold of the nut, push that cartridge up like that. And then I can just very simply just tighten it up. Now that we have the lower assembly in the tank, what we want to do now is pay attention to the orientation mark on the flange and the bump on the tank. And also, I want you to pay attention to the level sending unit, how it's connected. When it's oriented, it's going to be like so, and you notice the drift pin there. It aligns as such. Now that you understand the orientation of everything, I want you to pay attention, strict attention to the six O-rings on the lower assembly, and also the O-ring on the end of the level sending unit. If not, it'll leak. We've provided these bolts, these long bolts, to extend through here. And these are required for your assembly. And you slide them in there and you, you give it a few turns and put two of these in there. And at this point, you may want to get an assistant to help connect the wires for you because you're going to be able to lift this module up out of the tank somewhat and get everything started. And you will make sure that what you're doing is clearing the wires of the level sending unit. Okay, now that you have the two bolts connecting the flange and the lower assembly, lift up the lower assembly and connect the pumps. Okay, now that I have all those connected, I want you to push all the wires inside the tank and push them around the side to deconflict with the level sending unit. Okay, we got the level sending unit already connected, and we want to keep the wires so that they're on the back side of this unit. Having it lifted up like this, just feed the level sending unit in very carefully like this, and slide the level sending unit, making sure you are clear of the wires. Keeping the orientation right, we know where it bolts in. We slide the level sending unit in there, arm for it, slides into place, very simply, then just grab your screw, goes in there. Of course, you have verified the O-ring is still on that level sending rod. Okay, now that we have the level sending rod attached, make sure the orientation is proper, check for all your O-rings, making sure they're in place, and making sure the wires are clear as you slowly pull the flange to the lower assembly.
And if one's in the way, move it out of the way. Then you take the other bolts that attach the flange to the lower assembly and you go ahead and put them in place. Once again, peek underneath it, making sure there's no wires being pinched anywhere. Now the assembly bolts, go ahead and remove those this time and insert the other two screws. That should take you just a minute. And now to complete the assembly, just install these six flange screws. And that completes the work. Okay, now the installation is complete. This is just a look at the level sending unit. See how it has full range of motion up and down. And it's very clear of all the wires. The main thing is when you're putting this assembly in, make sure you're having the wires clear of this level sender and its function.